Okay, so this change is big. This is a huge announcement from Microsoft that they are trying to extend the support of TypeScript, type syntax in JavaScript. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean that you can drop TypeScript? Does this mean that JavaScript is becoming TypeScript? Let's just cover that in this video. We're gonna be covering this blog post, which is an official announcement from somebody from Microsoft. So let's just go ahead and see what this is about. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of course and helps the channel grow okay so i'm assuming that if you're watching this channel you know what typescript is or at least you know what javascript is if you don't then it's a problem because i'm assuming that so for those of you anyway who don't know what typescript is it's basically a type system built on top of javascript which is not enforced on runtime but it's more like a developer experience type system right it increases your developer experience of coding in javascript and I believe like after a certain point, if you're working with a pure JavaScript project without external tooling like TypeScript, it's, it's fundamentally impossible to scale it beyond a certain level, right? It just becomes too hard to refactor untyped JavaScript code. But anyway, what's happening over here is that TypeScript used to be a separate language or a separate you know system in itself right you would have to compile down the typescript to javascript for which you would have compilers like babel and you know swc for example these things are coming up with rust implementation of tsc and so on so you would have to compile it down to javascript and then you ship it to browsers and then the browsers have v8 and spider monkey and you know what have you these engines and built of them which run this javascript code and execute the machine code which means that you see that interactivity and buttons on the screen which are potentially created by javascript so this is how today's world look like what these guys are proposing is that hey why do we need this compilation step at all i mean with typescript can we not directly execute the code which you have written with the types without the runtime security in the browsers themselves so what this means essentially is that effectively what we are doing in this proposal which is which is still a highly highly early state zero pro proposal over here you can see it's a new state zero proposal but right here you can see that for example if i'm writing this javascript code and shipping this to the browser all i have to do is just you know in my ide like vs code or if you are doing it in a code damn playground for example you will get nice type completions a number b number you will have this number as well but when your browser is actually running it's also running the same code remember that there is no compilation step that means this is not removed there is no babel involved there is no tsc involved nothing is involved so this is not removed your browser actually sees this and chooses to ignore this right so it's almost like how we work with js talk or how we used to work with js talk so JS talk is, was a way of, you know, just declaring what your function parameters are, its return types is, the description is, and so on. And then your IDE would automatically IntelliSense that and, you know, plug it in wherever you're using that. But TypeScript obviously has a much, much, much broader reach than JS talk and is, is, is a much more complete system as well, feature wise. So moving forward, I mean, if this proposal is adopted, obviously it's still very early. But moving forward, if this is adopted, then you could technically write TypeScript directly within the browsers by avoiding this, you know, this compilation step at all. And this is in fact a huge deal because, because TypeScript compiler is in fact slow. I mean, at least for the build times, it will improve your speed a lot. TypeScript takes a lot of time to compile because it's written in JavaScript and it's, it's you know, it, it hits its bottlenecks when there are a lot of files sure i mean there are efforts going in the rust and the go world for writing a native typescript compiler but this proposal is also interesting in a way that you don't even need to compile it down at all right now like i said a very important point here to note is that there is no type checking enforced in the javascript runtime because that will totally defeat all the performance optimizations and everything and, and the language itself i mean javascript is not a statically typed language it's a dynamically typed language so all the optimizations and v8 and hacks and everything which has been implemented so far that will that will be useless so this is just a this is just a way to ignore the types which you see over here and you just you can just ship that javascript and browser will take care of the rest of the stuff it's just that you would remove one compilation step 
from the pipeline so you can see over here that it mentions that this proposal is not proposing putting typescript type checking in every browser and javascript runtime which is super important performance wise you know language language schematic wise and syntax wise and everything it'll, it'll create tons of issues so obviously that's not a solution it's just that a, a lazy way to just ship typescript files to the javascript world without any changes now there are obviously some interesting comments on this which one of this mentions that unless there's a one-to-one -one match with typescript we'll still need to transpile everything because obviously if there are some parts which you can write only in typescript then it does not make a lot of sense and it in fact mentions it here that we would not be actually writing or we will not be actually compiling down enums i think let's see yeah enums namespaces and parameter properties will be out of scope because they have observable runtime behavior right so these things in types would actually modify your runtime behavior as well so therefore we will not be having those sort of things available in the js runtime itself and that obviously begs the question that what will happen then if somebody is writing an enum because that will not be supported in a JavaScript file, right? So anyway, you would have to compile it down to a JavaScript file. So what's the use of that? So of course, I mean, um, to that, the obvious response is that not every project uses or will use those unsupported features. So that's a starter. But yeah, I mean, I mean, this is still a state zero proposal. We should not really expect a lot of clarity on all the details. That's why there are stages in the TC39 proposal system. So let's see how everything goes. So yep, that's pretty much it for this video. This is a shockingly good update. I think it's a big one. It's a big, big update and it's very early still, but we'll see its implication in the next four, six, eight, 12 months. I don't know how much time they'll take it to move to stage two, three, four proposal, but hopefully it moves because uh, I'd love to see TypeScript executing directly in the browsers itself. That's that's a pretty cool thing to have. But again, this would probably feel a little bit hacky if I cannot just pretty much copy and paste any TypeScript file into the console. Until and unless I can do that, I'll, I'll feel that it's a little bit hacky. I hope this gets also, this also gets fixed sometime soon, or maybe we are able to, I don't know, like probably bring the whole TypeScript runtime somehow, but that's that does not seem feasible. But anyway, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. That is all for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.